Hello everybody. I was sent this two-pack bivy emergency sleeping bag set. The sleeping bag set is from a company called Z Moon and Z Moon is the same company that uh, sent me the fog lights that I put on my van. Now here's my van without them, here's with them. And here's another shot. Love those fog lights. They're kind of zombie green, that's what I think. But anyway, so I uh, unbagged the bivy and I spread it out here to show the size of it. And uh, yeah, this is the inside of my house. It's very cramped right now because me and the wife are both working from home. So, uh, a small house looks even smaller. So here I am putting it on so we can see what size it is. Uh, I am a 235 pound, uh, 5'11", and that's, that's a good six, six or eight inches above my head. So that's, that's nice for the size. And, uh, and here I'm just showing that you can take it and uh, wrap it around you and sit down just have your head sticking out you could also drape the top of it up over your head to cover you in rain and just have a little open spot to breathe through you could really crumble yourself up with that thing on here I'm just showing that you can rip down the side here there's like some tape on there you got it to go slow I went really fast here and I ended up ripping the um, some of the tape and then when I got about halfway down it started ripping the material but uh, that's alright because I planned on sh opening it up like this to show it as a blanket and uh, and what you could do with the blanket you can make it into a tent you could uh, um, stake it down on two corners and then have two corners up on a, a ridge line and then uh, um, but any anytime you rip this you can just uh, fix it with duct tape. So I was testing the durability and I uh, put some, uh, uh, I don't know, I pulled it tight a couple times and ripped it and then uh, here I am taping it back together. It's a simple process, just tape, put some tape on one side. And that's probably enough, but you can put some tape on the other side just to make sure that you don't have any sticky coming through on one side, especially the inside. And uh, and there it is with the tape on it. And uh, I also taped it all back together on the bottom and then all the way down the side. And uh, it was uh, it was not a hard thing to do. You just uh, put the tape on one side, fold it over, or if you can lay it down flat and put the tape right down on it. Always remember if you tape this together don't try and remove the tape if you put it on crooked just put some more tape on because uh, if you try and rip the tape off of this it will just rip the material it'll stretch and then it will rip now here it is after i got it all back into the bag and uh it's not it's not as small as what it was but there's a, a good amount of tape there's a good there's a good 10 feet of tape or more added to it and here i am went out to the woods here beautiful little scenic area near my house and uh, I'll admit this is a park it's not uh, it's not out in the woods this is kind of a trail of a park and nobody was around we're still doing the lockdown so I, I pulled it all open and got it all spread out and and fumbled my way into it <laughs> was a pretty clumsy dude so um, I didn't think that I would want to lay down on the ground and try and, you know, caterpillar into it. But here's here's the inside. I wanted to show that it's a pretty good size inside there. But I, I got in it and I stepped around until I got it pretty much around me. And uh, here I am and pull it up, get as much of it up there as I can. I think I show here that it's it's still much taller than me even after I've taped it up see I didn't lose any of the height on it so here I'm getting my arms out arms out so I don't just have to caterpillar or fall to the ground like I'm breakdancing doing the worm 
All right, and uh, I wanted to show that you could lay down in it, and then you could hold a stick, have a stick hold the end open, and use it as kind of like a, a very small tent, because if it was a downpour right now, you could just uh, wrap it over your head. Maybe, maybe uh, there's where you could put a stick, hold and open that spot right there. But you could make this into like a little, a very small tent, and and just stay inside here. Or you could just, you know, cover cover up your head, and then have a small spot for breathing. You don't want to be inside something and breathing inside it. I mean, inside a, a tent like this, where it's all enclosed and everything, there's a small screen or something. You're gonna get condensation in there from your breath. So instead of trying to pack it up into a um, a small package again. I just grabbed it up, took off. What? My son was uh, recording me as we were walking away. It was kind of funny. Thanks a lot for watching. Special thanks to Z Moon for sending me these. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share it, and uh, everybody take care and stay safe and uh, keep your hands clean, six feet away from everybody. Take care.